Do you know that every year in Britain alone, 5,000 million cans like this are recycled every year? You know why? Because it's aluminium. What do we know about aluminium anyway? Well, it has a nice, simple atomic structure. It's a metal with fairly small atoms quite a long way apart. That means it has a low density. It feels light. Its properties make it an almost ideal material for recycling. It has a fairly low melting point, and it doesn't corrode much. So, John, you're a, you're a smelter, an aluminium smelter, is that right? Yeah, yeah. Which means you take scrap from all over the place. Yeah. And it's, you've got sort of Coke cans and bottle tops and printing plates and goodness knows what. Yeah, from all the aluminium, different types of aluminium scrap, we grade it, melt it and make a, a, a finished product. All you've done is put scrap aluminium in there, is that right? Yeah, that's correct, yeah. Can I add my bit? Yeah, no problem. OK, great. Right in the middle. Terrific. So, all you're doing is taking scrap, melting, melting it, and getting nice pure stuff out the end. That's your, yeah, that's correct, yeah. Now, your furnace, what's it powered by? Uh, reclaimed oil. So that's relatively cheap. It's already been used once. Yeah, it's relatively cheap, and it, and it gets rid of all the, uh, the messy oil. Right. What sort of temperature are you running at? Uh, 900 degrees. It's quite, it does certainly feel quite warm even from here, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. You just have the flame belting out into the air above the metal. Yeah, it doesn't actually direct it onto the metal because it would make more dross. It's just over the, above the metal. Okay. And then it's just the heat it's getting, not the actual flame. So you're trying to prevent oxidation, basically? Yeah, that's right, yeah. OK. OK. And what about all the paint and old, you know, sliders and things in there? Well, that just burns off and turns into dross and flops on the top. OK. And what's in the dross? Is it oxide? Um, yeah, it's some oxide, but it's still about 30% aluminium. So this is where it's coming out, yes? Yeah, we're pouring at the moment. That's the uh, molten aluminium coming out of the furnace. What sort of temperature is that? Uh, about 850 degrees. Eight, so it's quite warm? Yeah, yeah. The melting point of aluminium is 660, is that right? Um, yeah, upwards because of the different alloys, yeah. Oh, I see, OK. And these are just going to be ingots? Yeah, aluminium ingots, yeah. They go up the um, conveyor and they, they cool as they're going up and drop off the other end. What, in three minutes or something? Yeah, they water cool as they get near the top and then... Terrific, so it doesn't take long. No, no. Mm. I've got this lump of bauxite here, which this is the ore, isn't it? Yes. This is the stuff they, they extract aluminium from. Mm. Now, if we put this in the furnace, is it going to melt? I don't think so, no. Can we try it? Certainly. OK, you've got a ladle there. Um, I think I'll be brave and let you do this. Right, OK. Fair Off on. you go. for about 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, that's right. And this is what? About five or six hundred or yeah. seven, maybe more. But the bauxite hasn't changed at all. No. It's still solid, hasn't melted. That's so right. it's going to take a lot more energy to that than that to get the aluminium out of it. Yeah, that's and right. So you've got a fantastically simple process here, just a little bit of waste oil, mm. and you can turn scrap aluminium into fresh aluminium. Yes. Whereas obviously to turn bauxite into aluminium, requires, you know, an enormous amount of electricity. Yeah, that's correct. It's really good news, that. Yeah. Um, well, I think I'll keep well out of the heat, if you don't right. mind. OK. 